Alright, uh, this tutorial will be about the feedback mode. So, the feedback mode is a very flexible and intelligent mode. It can uh, use customized limits for a figure. So, let's open up uh, Elemento and I want to create a simple using Skeletonizer Okay And I want to rename the, um, the node so it's easy to see to do this, I select the bone tool, and um, if I type bone here, I can get a view of the bones. So when I select this, I see this uh, head bone. So I'm renaming. Okay. Let's And then the next one, you can use Control and R to to make the rename shortcut. Here we get the left over on bone. Okay, so the next thing is the control points. So we type point there and then we rename and first. If you use the same uh, uh, names as I do, you will get the, um, the walk uh, action to work. So we can test it now by clicking walk to the testing and then generate and we can move the arms so it's ok and uh, uh, ok we got a skeleton with rename control points and bones but the thing is we want to limit the freedom of the limbs so I find the left leg bone and I use the convert to feedback and I see I got no matrices for this figure to choose, to choose from and um, uh, which you can create with uh, this button here so let's add um, let's add some 
and I want to add one for the left limb. Left over leg. And usually these uh, matrices contain the graphics that we want to attach to the skeleton. So, but now we want just to want to attach um, the left leg to the left leg bone. So I recommend to use the skeletonizer to attach images um, or using uh, the other tools for doing this faster. So this is a little bit difficult way to do this, but I just want to show the the process or the requirements. Um, if we examine one matrix, we see it's centered at the knee, left knee point, and the x direction is pointing in at the foot. And this is important to remember. Okay, so what do we do when we choose the left leg matrix, uh, the left leg bone and convert it. We select the, the matrix that is attached to the bone and we select the limb uh, one step up in the hierarchy. Okay, so now we, we can set the limits. So I want to set this as maximum and this is minimum and if you do something wrong you can just undo so let's see it works okay so when we examine this we can't find the angular limits only a reference to the matrix so let's find this matrix um, when we select the rotate property, we will see that we have a change expression because this is the default expression for rotating. No, it's, um, it's this one. Um, um, there is a maximum and minimum limit according to the all leg matrix. So the feedback is using the matrix to to the feedback, and this means you can program it as you wish. Um, for example, I now want to make this uh, add some freedom to the um, size of the ball. So I can do this by it takes up um, there's a point property. So it's a point function. And I want to have between 
some follow the link between the left point on the left knee uh, extract this as a factor so it's between uh, 4% and 100 And then I want to have the constant size in I direction. So when I do this now, I see I can move the bone according to um, the size. So the feedback can be used to add some more freedom. So this uh, tutorial is getting a, a bit long but you do the same thing for the other uh, limbs it is easier if you just um, do it at um, existing figure and for example this tractor has a similar feedback in the for the arms. So let's look it up. Okay, right arm feedback. And it uses the right arm matrix. And we will find a similar expression for the scale. Okay, so this is uh, pretty much everything about the feedback. And uh, my name is Sven Nielsen, the creator of this software. Um, you can follow this channel or to see the development of the next version of Stickman and we're also going to leave some comments um, ask, send me an email if you uh, have a question thanks for watching